Hi, this is Katya Andreessen. I'm very excited to speak to you uh, at your conference coming up. And I'm going to be talking about Homer Simpson and what that has to do with you as a nonprofit. I hope that's got your head scratching, uh, or you scratching your head. It's based on this ebook that I wrote um, a few weeks ago, and it's called Homer Simpson for Nonprofits The Truth About How People Really Think and What It Means to Your Cause. And the book makes three points that are really important to fundraisers and actually to anyone doing online outreach. Here's the first point people give money and take action usually for emotional reasons, not entirely rational reasons. That's because our left brain is not quite as strong as our right brain. Our left brain is Spock, right? That's the part, rational part of us um, that knows what we really should do. Our right brains are more emotional, our more instinctual side of thoughts, and that's the part of us that's more like Homer Simpson, a little over-endowed by impulse and a little bit uh, short-term in terms of our thinking. Well, what does that mean to us if you're doing outreach or fundraiser? Well, you need to focus as much as you can on instilling in people a sense of urgency based on emotion. You want to connect with people based on feeling. That's going to be much more likely to motivate action than laying out a rational argument or a dry mission statement. People rarely take the time to think that through and it rarely galvanizes them to action. So that's the first thing I'm going to talk about. Another point I want to make is when we're talking about what we do, it's really important to boil it down to a human or individual level. There's all kinds of research from behavioral economics, which this ebook is based upon, that shows people relate to one human face or one animal or one tree more than they do multitudes. And in fact, the more numbers you talk about and the greater you make your social problem, the less likely people are to act. People will actually be less likely to help millions of starving people than one starving person. And I'm going to talk about the research that shows that and what that means to you and the appeals that you do this year and on and on. And the third point I want to make is the messenger is almost as important as the message these days. We listen to authority. And who has authority for us are respected voices, um, people that we know and trust people within our own circles of influence, family, friends, and we are less likely to trust government, companies, and yes, charities. So this year you're going to want to think about what third party messages could be delivering your message because they're going to be a lot more effective. I look forward to talking to you about these and other principles when I see you in September. Thanks.